Hey, it's Carrie from Total Publications and it's my pleasure to be on site coming down visiting Pete today. And Pete is from Individual Auto Design UK. So Pete, we've come to speak to you about the public sector side of things yeah. that you guys cover as a company. So can you explain to the viewers um, what you guys do as a service and what you can offer that particular industry? Okay, so uh, individual auto design, we do secondary seat covers known as a seat skin. They fit and look like an OEM cover once fitted. So basically they're offering seat protection to an asset or actually bringing occupational health solutions into the workplace. It just depends on which customer and what the need is for what we can do for them. So in regards to the public sector side of things, um, you cater for ambulance services, don't you? Yeah, we do ambulance, police, fire. Um, we actually got into the energy field now as well. Oh, have you? We do some boats as well now that look after wind farms out in the North Sea. Um, so we do councils as well. Uh, we'll do anybody, but in the public sector, it's mainly the emergency services that are key core business. Okay, and do they have a specific design what they go for is there is there any kind of regulations behind what products they have to have there's not obviously the products need to be air bag compliant which all ours are they all come with a five-year warranty in the public sector rather than a three-year warranty because of the length of ter term they use the vehicles for um things that why public sector will use us is they see us as the expert so they'll come to us with a problem we create a solution yeah, okay. uh, we don't look at the profit, we look at the solution. The solution is like what the customer wants. So, say for instance, in the police forces, they will run three types of seat skins a full cloth one in just the beat cars, a half and half one in the armed response vehicles, and then a level up one in the dog sections. Obviously, there's a price difference across the product, so we're just trying to save taxpayer and the business money whilst we're creating a solution for them. Okay. And in terms of testing the products, I'm assuming they have to go through a testing process. Yeah, so all the materials and the product itself is tested to an OEM standard. So all the materials are tested to Volkswagen standards. Okay. We do things like a Schreiber test, an Arizona test, an Antarctic test, uh, using terms that the viewers might not be used to. So a Schreiber test is basically the getting in and out of a vehicle. All our materials are tested to a quarter of a million times in and out. Uh, the Arizona test is a heat test, obviously the Antarctic test is, and so on and so forth. So none of our materials are electrostatic, so sometimes you can get into a car and you get the shock off the seat. Oh. That won't happen with any of the materials we use. Um, I can't do, obviously through some of the equipment in some of the um, vehicles used by our customers. Uh, the auto textile, again, all the materials are tested to that standard. And then we have an airbag test as well, that's TUV, so the TUV airbag testing is basically ensuring that the seat's airbag deploys correctly within a time. We've actually worked with the industry to make that happen and that test to become come about. Um, we have videos of it being done which can be sent out to customers. Yeah, well, um, we'll show some of the videos. Yeah, yeah that would be fantastic. Um, difference between our product and some things you might see on eBay, for instance, it is the airbag certification. It costs a lot of money to do so and there's a lot of companies out there that because what you see is a seat cover, they might not necessarily do it because they're more bothered about the profit and being able to sell it cheap. We're bothered about the safety of the products over the profit of it. So we're going for quality. Yeah, definitely for quality products. And, and experience. Peace of mind. Well, so the manufacturing side of this, I've 30 years of experience. I've been in the industry for eight years now. Yeah. Through the eight years we've grown. It started as like a hobby on Facebook, selling the other one or two to the private individual. And um, previous to this, I used to be a finance manager for a, a recovery firm. We work quite closely with the police force. They were my first customer from a fleet perspective, which then opened my eyes to what was out there and what we could do. So now we actually supply every ambulance service in the country. We've got 26 police forces, 15 different fire brigades, we supply the likes of BMW authorities, Volvo, Ford, Peugeot, and that's directly to the manufacturer making the police car. Uh, and then obviously there's the other police forces that we supply to. Um, in the truck world, we supply to Volvo trucks directly for their fire engines. Um, we've done a lot of stuff for the air ambulances. We actually do quite a bit of charity donation through the year on the air ambulance stuff. Because we work so closely with the ambulance forces and the manufacturers, the air ambulance stuff tends to be 
charitable car even yeah. start to finish so when our products going in there that's a donation you know to, to the charity itself you've done amazing um, from that level where you've started to where you are now with the clients that you've got and looking around your showroom which is massive and i can see all the big names of who you're working with like some british gas and stuff. yeah british yeah. gas and yeah, well, Every ambulance service was it? Did you yeah, say? Yeah, everyone in the country. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well that's done. Good. Thank you. So, how do you feel that you've built all this? Like, what does um, that make you feel like? Proud. Uh, Star work. I can't. I'm done it on my own. You know, I've got a good team behind me. I've got a fantastic manufacturer. Like we don't have any issues. Um, yeah, it's hard work and a good team. It's um, nice to hear that story. To be fair. And just looking around, uh, there's quite a lot of seats, uh, similar to this, but all different styles. And some of them have got individual logos in, um, police logos, British gas logos, other things like that. Yeah, so, so you customise everything for the client, I'm assuming. Basically, our product is fully customisable. Anything we have a digital pattern for, which would be Audi through to Volvo, right, for cars, vans and trucks. Uh, you can, there's over one and a half million design combinations for each of the type of vehicle. So if I do it, you said yourself you had an Audi TT. Yeah. There's one and a half million ways I can do that. And then obviously you can have a company logo in. If you put a company logo in, it's classed as PP or uniform. It's tax deductible then. Um, so not only are you protecting your asset, but you're being a bit clever in your purchase. And then obviously by including a company logo, you can brand it back in. Um, for instance, British Gas put um, a subliminal message into their drivers, oh. which was to uh, promote safe and courteous driving and that's something that they see every single morning when they get in the vehicle a lot of work went into the research of like what logo they were going to put in in the emergency services we put the logos in basically to, um, to brand it up but obviously it stops theft of equipment nobody wants a logo of their company or their employer in their own car so yeah it's yeah, a that's premium a, that's product a good time, and it's just yeah. about protecting them and making sure it stays on the seat so um we've all had an issue with covid recently in regards to how it's affected how people have worked how companies have adapted how have you guys adapted through covid uh so we've actually shut through a covid point of view obviously to the public like everybody else we're in a tier three area however the number of emergency services that we supply we did see a peak at the beginning so we've actually been out mobile fitting around the country basically to help get ambulances to the front line quicker now this was back in march on the first lockdown we're still seeing a steady amount of business there that's the police body armor so if you feel the weight of it can i put it on if you want yeah <laughs> yeah that's proper police body armor with armor plates in it's quite heavy isn't it okay so this is police body armor all right so where do you fit into this product so basically there's an occupational okay. health problem nationally because there's uh 56 dis different police forces out there, they all hold a different kit. So they don't all wear the same body armour. Now that body armour does two things. It causes damage to the seat that they're getting in and out of. Okay. Yeah, but it also affects their posture. Yes. Yeah, so you'll feel the weight now down on your shoulder bones. Yeah. yeah. If you put them up into the driving position, so the steering wheel. Yeah, the back. You it, can you feel it all across the top? Yeah, there? across the back there. So we've developed a solution that lifts that vest off their shoulders whilst they're in the driving position. It just lifts it an inch. All right, okay. Yeah, and that's been tested by civil nuclear police, the Met, the Met police, and hopefully it'll get tape approved. But like, it's cheaper for the government to use my solution that I've presented rather than change all the body armor nationally. They're tailor made per person. My product's not. It's multi user, multi car. It's done, you know what I mean? Want to roll out to everything. Whereas literally, you've got to be measured to have one. So you're sounding a little bit like a one-stop shop here. Trying to be. Now, in compared, um, comparison to your competitors, where do you guys stand? I wouldn't say we are any. Uh, are you the market leader? I'd say we're definitely the market leader. You know, we offer a, 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 um, an OEM warranty. We work alongside the OEMs to develop products. All our stuff's airbag tested. Um, there's no corners cut and I only say that through what else is out there on the market. Be careful. You get what you pay for, don't you, at the end Definitely of the day? Definitely at the end of the day. And then even with that being said, in the grand scheme of things, we're up to a third cheaper than any replacement OEM in par. So an example would be a Peugeot Expert van, uh, a seat base from that OEM 
is somewhere in between three and four hundred pounds. I can do the same seat base and a full seat cover and give you hundred and fifty pound change from that three or four hundred quid. Oh, that's so nice. the savings that you can have from a business point of view are absolutely massive. Um, especially if you lease your vehicles when there's recharge uh, costs involved in returning a vehicle. This is just a way of protecting it. Fantastic. So if there's anybody watching that is in the public sector and they do need some of the services that we have described today, then here's your guy and he will be more than happy to answer your questions. So thank you so much for your time. Oh, it's you been an absolute pleasure. Good. Your showroom is it's beautiful. Thank you. And I'm sure we'll see you again really soon. Yeah, we will. Thank you.